Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today I've got a great low impact weight loss cardio workout for women of a certain age. You guys, today there is absolutely no jumping, no transitions to the ground, no equipment needed, and it's a throw Thursday, which means that I've got both a warm up and a cool down and plenty of sweat in between. When you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go. My friends, let's get moving and grooving. And of course, that means that we're gonna get started with some arm circles and high knees. And of course, I said of course, because I always say of course. And yet, if you are brand new here, you might not know that that was an of course sort of a thing. My friends, if you are brand new, thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to have such a good sweaty time. And in fact, I'm gonna encourage you to go ahead and just click that subscribe button and possibly even the like button right now, because afterwards, you might be a little bit too sweaty to be able to find it or might be able to like, like be able to touch the buttons or whatever. So it's just, it's just best to do that first. My friends who have been here before, of course, we're starting with arm circles with high knees because today is a thorough Thursday where we get it all done. And today, today is a particularly, a particularly Goldilocks kind of workout. I tell you what, I'm really excited about this one. I'm excited about all the workouts like when we get going. <laughs> and I'm usually pretty happy with them afterwards too. But today I'm really excited with exactly how I have this laid out. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers too. I've been thinking a lot lately about, about this time in our lives, about where we, we ladies are at this certain age, this menopause age, this perimenopause age, this weird age when everything is different, your body is different, everything feels weird, and we just can't lose weight like we used to and everything feels harder and more difficult than it needs to be and I wanted to talk about that while we're doing something nice and sweaty the exact right amount of sweaty it's not too much it's not too little it's not too long it's not too short today today is just right and today welcome to my home go ahead and Ah, oh, reach back gracefully. I cannot help myself but sigh and make that noise when we do this. It feels so good to stretch my abs. You guys, I never, I, I never really think about it, but I spend a lot of my day kind of like, well, I spend a lot of my day actually at the computer, oddly enough, for being a fitness professional. So I'm always like a little bit hunched over, a little bit crunched over, and oh my goodness, doesn't it feel amazing to stretch out your abs and stretch out your chest and open up your shoulder like this? Ah, oh, I love it. Also, also, I need to finish telling you about the workout. I've got the handy dandy gym boss. Set for intervals of 30 seconds and 20 seconds and then 30 seconds and 20 seconds. I've got three exercises that we're gonna do in a triplet, 30, then 20, then 30, and then the other 20 seconds is rest. Let's go ahead and get going and I'll explain more about that in just a moment, but let's go ahead and start with reach across, which honestly is just what it sounds like. We're reaching across in front of your body, and when it beeps again, we're gonna do something I call toy soldiers. We're gonna put those hands up overhead, reach our opposite foot towards our opposite hand, our kicking foot towards our opposite hand. You guys, Today, today we're gonna get sweaty. It's cardio, we're moving almost the entire time. But you know, when I told you that there was a rest, you might have thought to yourself, oh, that means this is a HIIT workout. Let me tell you something about HIIT workouts and being our age. Toy soldiers, HIIT workouts don't work anymore. My friends, my friends at this age, first of all, let me tell you, because I know 20 seconds is going to go fast. We're doing modified jumping jacks next, which means that we're going to start with our hands down at our sides. As we're doing a jumping jack, actually hands up, as we're doing a jumping jack, so as we're doing a jumping jack, one foot is coming out to the side at a time. Now when it beeps again, we're going to get 20 seconds of rest and then we're going to do this little triplet one more time. Not a lot more times. It's, I mean, I could have done it as a circuit, but I'm going to go ahead and just repeat it now because you already know the exercises. But here's the thing about HIIT workouts. We can't do them anymore. I mean, no, that's not true. No, that's actually really not true. We can, and maybe that's the problem. Have you noticed, 20 seconds of rest. I'm just gonna do a little bit of tapping here. When it beeps again, we're gonna do that reach across. Have you noticed that you're actually still capable of doing like everything you want to? It's not like the workouts are too hard. You see these workouts and they're super tough and they're super sweaty, and you can totally still do them. And here we go with that reach across. And yet, 
it takes so much more of a toll than it used to. Oh my gosh, this is, this is the thing that I am struggling with most at this age. I can do everything I wanna do. I can lift heavy, I can run far, I can do cardio all day long, my friend. But oh my gosh, the recovery time. It's crazy how much it takes out of me to keep that up. And that, toy soldiers, <laughs> <laughs> that is not toy soldiers, but toy soldiers is what we're doing right now. That, my friends, is why we're taking it at a little bit kinder and gentler pace today. That rest, it's not because your heart rate came up, 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 and you got super spiked heart rate, and we're working super hard, and it's so crazy, and I got a crazy voice, and here we go with modified jacks. <laughs> Honestly, it's to make sure that your heart rate doesn't get too high. It's to make sure that today's workout is just right, that middle of the road. It won't require a lot of recovery. The fact is, while we're doing it, I guarantee, I know for a fact, you're gonna be like, wow, that really wasn't that much. I could probably do more. I should probably add on something else. I should probably lift heavier. I should probably move faster. 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're gonna do low swinging tappers. I love that. It's basically this with my feet. It's the tapping thing with my feet, but we're swinging our hands nice and low, but nice and big. So here's the thing. If we continue to push ourselves at that level, and then here we go with the low swinging tappers, and then need that recovery, or goodness gracious, what some of us do, continue to push, 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 even if we need the recovery, we don't take the recovery, my friends, that is why we're gaining weight. We're not gaining weight just because of menopause. We're not gaining weight because we have lost control of what we're eating. When it beeps again, we're gonna do rainbow kicks, which means that our hands are gonna be doing the same thing exactly like this, except up overhead, and we're gonna be kicking out to the side. So rainbow kicks, oh my gosh, did you hear my hip just pop just now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ladies, my friends, here's what happens at this time. When it beeps again, we're gonna do kick jacks. So again, hands are doing jumping jacks, but our feet are just kicking out forward. So here we go. Woohoo! When it beeps again, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. Here's what happens when we start to lose estrogen at this time of our lives. It has almost nothing to do with our ability to exercise. We can still exercise. What it affects is our ability to recover. When you keep pushing, 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 and your body cannot recover, not because you're pushing any harder than you used to, but because you do not have the estrogen to recover, 20 seconds of rest. Your body perceives that as an overload of stress. Now, stress is not necessarily bad. We think of stress as like, oh, my boss is such a jerk. When it beeps again, of course, we're gonna do these low swinging tappers because we're doing this exact little triplet one more time. But it's not like that for your body. Your body, your body evolved to think of everything as stress, honestly. But specifically, too much work gets perceived as stress and your body's reaction to stress is to store fat because what if, what if we need energy for later? So my friends, when we keep pushing super hard all the time, we A, can't recover, and B, are actually storing fat because of how we're exercising, because we're pushing too much. Rainbow kicks, here we go, hands up overhead, feet kicking out to the side. Isn't it a crazy thought that you could actually gain weight because you're exercising, according to your body, too much? Isn't that absolutely nuts? And yet, and here we go with those kick jacks, kicking forward, hands doing jumping jacks. That's what's going on with your body. It's part of what's going on with your body. Oh my gosh, so many other things, so much else. I mean, I mean really, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna talk about menopause and we're gonna talk about like how we feel, let's talk about anxiety, let's talk about stress, let's talk about how everything in the world feels different right now. So that's why we keep turning to cardio. Here we go, 20 seconds of rest, bringing that heart rate, keeping it moderate. Because cardio feels like such a nice release. Oh my gosh, the endorphins, the sweat, it feels so good. When it beeps again, we're even gonna punch and kick. We're gonna do punch, punch, kicks, which is exactly what it sounds like. We love our cardio, we love our exercise, we love that feeling. So punch, punch, and kick. 
punch, punch, and kick. And yet, we're not getting the release that we want from it anymore. It's adding to our problems. So my friends, when it beeps again, we're gonna do some big arm side shuffles which means that you're just gonna need a little bit of space. We're gonna take a couple of side shuffles while doing our big arm circles in front of us. Oh my gosh, good amount of sweat going on already. But here's the thing, this big arm side shuffles always feel so good. I love, I love all of the exercises that I chose today. They're all, they're all just right. Nothing too crazy, nothing jumpy, nothing down on the ground. When it beeps again, we're gonna do squat jacks. My mnemonic device for that is when your hands are up, your hips are up. When your hands are down, your hips are down. Hands up, hips up, hands down, hips down. I like to take a little step in between here just because it feels comfortable to me. You are welcome to do this. Honestly, you're welcome to do this however you want to. If you don't feel like squatting, don't squat. Do some other, some other jumping jack something or other. I've got all of them today. As long as you're moving, you're doing such a great job. But my friends, what happens, well, first of all, what happens when it beeps again is we're taking 20 seconds of rest. What happens when we still want to go, 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 but it's the wrong thing for our body. It's not helping us meet our goals. It's not actually helping us feel better. And in fact, it's making us feel more anxious and more stressed because now we've got this extra 10 pounds to worry about too. We're gonna do punch, punch, kicks again when it beeps. So here we go, punch, punch, kick. Well, my dear, here's my answer for you. And you might not like it because I know that you want me to say, oh, keep working out hard. Just work out harder. Just sweat more. It'll all take care of itself. No, darn it. What I'm going to tell you to do is something like this. A workout that's just right when it beeps again, doing those big arm side shuffles without being too much. And then when it's over, remind yourself, here we go with big arm side shuffles, that it's enough. Let it be enough. Because here's the thing, if we wanna lose weight, pushing harder, honestly, even when we were younger, pushing harder wasn't really the answer. Pushing harder helped when we were younger because we could recover from it when it beeps again right here. Squat jacks, hands are down, hips are down, hands are up, hips are up. Your body had the ability to recover from any kind of nonsense you threw at. I mean, my goodness, I threw some nonsense at my body when I was younger. But now that your body can't recover the way it used to, it means that we, we up here in our brains, have to do nicer things. We have to hold back. We have to be able to do something nicely, 20 seconds of rest, and consistently. So rather than working too hard and then needing to take three days off, do something like this that maybe doesn't feel like enough in the moment, but you could do it again tomorrow. When it beeps again, we're doing forward, I'm pointing at you, I'm sorry. But when it beeps again, we're gonna do forward hinge arm flappers. So hands up overhead, feet about hip width apart. We're pushing our hips back while we hinge forward at the waist. And then when we come up, hands come up. You're flapping your arms out to the side, a lot like a jumping jack actually, but your hips are pushing back and forth like a deadlift or a forward hinge. When it beeps again, we're gonna do skiers. And what that means is that we're gonna bring one hand up while kicking the other foot back behind us. It's almost like a shuffling motion. And it's one of those ones, so one hand comes up, uh, hands are going up and down directly in front of you, and feet are shuffling back behind you. So your core is pulled in nice and tight. This is one of those exercises that I never get right the first time. In fact, I can't believe I did get it right. Don't worry about which way your hands are going and which way your feet are going. You're moving, you're doing great. <laughs> when it beeps again, here we go with booty kicker jacks. Once again, hands are doing jumping jacks because they kind of always are in this extra in this workout today. And your feet are doing booty kickers. When it beeps again, we'll get 20 seconds of rest. Ah, you guys, what is it with this midlife thing? What is it with this menopause thing? Where everything we knew is different now. Everything we wanted to do for ourselves got different. I'm not gonna say harder, 20 seconds of rest. Because honestly, if you're anything like me, I've struggled with stuff my whole life. I've always, I've always been that little half a step behind where it's like, as soon as I figure something out, it changes. And that's kind of how I feel about my fitness when it beeps again. We're doing those forward hinge arm flappers for the second and final time. It's 
it's like I finally figured out in my late 30s that oh my gosh I actually could exercise regularly and I could like meet athletic goals and I could do stuff and by the time I figured out exactly what I wanted to do with that and where I wanted to go with it when it beeps again we're doing those skiers now not even all that many years later everything is different I have to figure it out again and I have to be honest with you, I struggled with it for a little while, and I've decided, here we go with skiers, I've decided that I'm going to see this as an opportunity. And I know that it might not feel like one right now because, again, I, it, this didn't come upon me yesterday where I'm like, oh, this is how I'm going to see it. Now everything feels great. I've been working on this for probably two years now. When it beeps again, we're doing those booty kicker jacks. So hands are doing jumping jacks, feet are doing booty kickers. I've decided that this time in my life is an opportunity for me to figure out how bad I want this. You know, because here's the thing, I can work myself into the ground, literally work myself into the ground. But if I wanna keep doing anything like this, if I wanna keep meeting goals, if I wanna keep fit, if I wanna keep active, 20 seconds of rest, then I need to figure out what my body needs best. Not what my brain wants, but what my body needs. When it beeps again, we're doing, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble reading my whiteboard today too. Yes, because I'm old. We're doing high knee punches. So we're punching forward while we are bringing up one high knee at a time. I just naturally went opposite knee and opposite hand. It really doesn't matter. It's a little bit of balance. You definitely want to keep your core pulled in, but again, it's much more about cardio. We're moving quickly. If your hands and feet are moving, you're doing great. You've got this workout locked down <laughs> when it beeps again we're going to do windmill tap back so hands are going to go straight up overhead or actually out to the side overhead we're going to reach down towards our opposite foot while tapping back so feet are nice and wide hands are wide reach down and tap back reach down and tap back you guys this next one is sidekick jacks which means, once again, our hands are doing jumping jacks. I know you've noticed at this point that there's a lot of jacks going on today, but our feet are gonna kick out to the side. So, side kick and side kick. And in fact, I'm trying to bring both of my hands down. So both hands flap into the sides while we're kicking, woo, really wide out to the side. Speaking of balance, speaking of pulling your core in, and speaking of having kind of a fun time while we exercise, when it beeps again, we're getting 20 seconds of rest. You are doing such a great job. Whoo, doggies, 20 seconds of rest. You know, I'm noticing the difference between the 30 second intervals and the 20 second intervals. That 30 seconds, for me, is just right. Like, it's a little bit of a push. It's almost, it's not too tough, but it's tough. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those high knee punches again. So punching forward while bringing up one high knee at a time. Does not matter if you're going across your body, same side of your body, punching up, punching out, punching, kicking, whatever you're doing. We are just moving and having fun today. You guys, this this is the opportunity that I'm thinking about. When it beeps again, we're going to do the windmill tap backs. I personally want to be exercising for the rest of my life. And not because I want to lose weight, not because of any... Here we go, windmill tap backs. Oh, I almost fell over on that one. Not because... Honestly, not because of anything other than I want to enjoy it. I want to be as active as, as I can for as long as I can because I like doing this. I like moving and sweating and feeling good. When it beeps again, here we go with those sidekick jacks. Woo! Tipping ourselves over while flapping our hands like jumping jacks. This is our last time doing this one, but I tell you what. Okay, so I just like... I think I made this up. I don't know if it's actually a brand new exercise. I feel like I made this one up today. This is definitely not gonna be the last time we do this. This one is fun. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. Awesome job. Whoo, doggies. And I will tell you, ha, huh, excellent. Okay, I will tell you, we've only got two more triplets left. You're doing a really good job with this, like high volume, 
interesting mix of work today. And I hope that this feels like I want it to feel. When it beeps again, we're doing tap back bursts, which means that we're gonna do a little tap back. You can call it a curtsy lunge if you want to, and then a burst. So tap back, burst. Tap back, burst. I'm not going down low enough to call it a curtsy lunge. It really is a tap back, a little one, and a big burst. So getting those hands up, kicking out to the side. Woo, nice and fun, nice and big. When it beeps again, we're doing walking stars, which is a box step. You've probably heard me say this before because I, I renamed them walking stars somewhat recently. Whew. So forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, and back. For whatever reason, I could not do this exercise when it was called a box step. As soon as I started calling it walking stars, there was something about that new name that helped my brain figure out how to do it when it beeps again. We're doing leg twister jacks. Okay, we have reached the portion of the workout where things are getting tough. We're twisting our leg out and in and then in and out. I get comments about this all the time that it's hard to follow along and I want you to know that as long as your hands are doing jumping jacks and your feet are doing something, you, my friend, are rocking this workout. There's no magic to doing any exercise, well, any cardio exercise, exactly the way I do it, 20 seconds of rest. The magic with cardio is moving and getting that heart rate up and feeling so good about moving your body. Okay, when it beeps again, we're gonna do that little triplet one more time. I know these got tough, huh? That's the thing, we're down at the lower end of the list here and so nothing is easy anymore. We're doing those tap back bursts. So a little tap back and burst those hands up. Tap back, burst. It's a curtsy lunge if you want it to be, but it certainly doesn't have to be. Everything that we're doing today should feel should feel good. You know, that's actually, I mean, it's always the point of my workouts. I never ever want you to feel bad afterwards. When it beeps again, we're doing those walking stars. But today especially, today, what I hope your takeaway is, walking stars, forward, forward, back, back. What I hope your takeaway is, is that what you're doing can take down a notch. You can still meet all your goals. It's just about being smart with it. It's about being kind to yourself. It's about taking a step, leg twister jacks, to do what your body needs, not just always what we want. But we can still do some of what we want while we're doing what our body needs. I mean, today, this has been quite a challenge. I'm certainly thinking very hard about these leg twister jacks, thinking very hard about sweating and keeping my balance, but not worrying about whether or not I can get out of bed tomorrow. 20 seconds of rest, you guys. Here comes our last triplet. So we're starting with a push, push, crunch, which means I'm gonna step to the side just a little bit. It's just what it sounds like. You push to the side, push to the side, and crunch. It's kind of like a little hula dance, honestly, except that I'm not really coordinated enough to make it look dancey, but I do my best, <laughs> just like always. So push to the side, push to the side, and crunch. And again, <coughs> excuse me, if, if your body just doesn't move this way, my friends, move in a way that, that you can, that feels good, that makes you feel confident. When it beeps again, because trust me, we're moving on to something else. When it beeps again, we're doing double knees. So hands are gonna be in the air. We're gonna bring up one knee two times in a row, and then we're gonna pivot a little bit, and then we're gonna bring up the other knee two times in a row. So hands up, two knees on this side, two knees on that side. Excellent job. This is the shorter of the intervals. Still feels like a push at this point though. When it beeps again, we're doing drinky bird jacks. If you have ever done my low impact workouts before, <laughs> drinky bird jacks means that our hands are doing jumpy jacks. Our lower body is doing what I call a drinky bird, but it's actually just a single leg deadlift. Balancing on one leg while hinging forward at the, at the waist and pushing that other leg back behind you. I know, if you've done my low impact workouts before and you followed along with all the different jacks that we've been doing, you knew this one was coming. Oh my gosh, when it beeps again, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. You are doing such a good job. Okay, 20 seconds. Whew. 
Woo, to bring that heart rate down. I know. See, it still kind of feels like a hit workout a little bit. That's the great thing about where we are and this opportunity that we have. You can still sweat. You can still do stuff that feels good. We're doing the push, push, crunch. You can still challenge yourself with exercises that feel weird and awkward. <laughs> But when we do them in the right amounts and we can do them consistently at a level that our body can handle because of, you know, estrogen and recovery and all that other crazy nonsense, when you can do something like this every day, manage your stress, manage your recovery, manage your calories. Here we go with double knees, hands up overhead. My friends, you can absolutely still lose weight. You can lose weight at any age. It's always a matter of doing the right thing in the right amount for your body. That, my friends, is all about self-love, not about punishment. And here we go with those Drinky Bird Jacks for the second and final time. Awesome, awesome job. Who really having trouble with my balance at this point? That's my favorite part of any cardio workout when balance is kind of a struggle because that means that I got my heart rate up just the right amount whew, to get those endorphins flowing and feeling good. All right, you guys, when it beeps again, ha, ah, we are done, but we're not quite finished. I got one final thing. Speaking of a challenge to your balance, here's what we're going to do. We do get this 20 seconds of rest. We're going to do goofy jacks plus the balance pose of your choice. I chose tree pose because I find that one particularly challenging. If that's too challenging for you, here we go with goofy jacks. It's like a little squat, but not even really a squat. Hands are doing jumping jacks like they do. And we're doing a little bit of balance out to the side, one leg kicking out. I chose tree balance because it's particularly challenging for me. I still like to challenge myself. If you need a chair or a couch or something nearby, help yourself. You can do just standing on one foot or any kind of balance pose that feels doable but challenging to you. I'm gonna use my hands here to get my foot in that tree pose. Ah, hands up. Whatever balancing you are doing, make sure that the leg you are balancing on, the knee is soft but strong, your core is pulled in tight. If you need to tap down, tap down. Don't fall out of it. That's a great way to hurt yourself. And here we go with Goofy Jacks. For the second and final time, <laughs> we're gonna do that balance pose, whatever balance pose you chose, on the other side. And then, my friends, ah, we will be finished. You have done such a great job today. Today, today's been a workout for your mind, too. I know. If this is the first time that you've heard me tell you that we need to take it down a notch at this age, I know that's tough information. It's hard to accept. We don't wanna think, and here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna use my hands again. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm trying to put that foot up there. Here we go. Knee is soft but strong. It can be very difficult to balance what you think we need to do and what your body needs. That's why I'm finishing with this balance pose. Ah, my friends. I'm gonna turn off the timer. First, I'm gonna do a little bit of tapping <laughs> because my heart rate's still really high. But also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach ah, up and over because once again, stretching out those abs feels amazing. This is like the overhead version of Welcome to My Homes. We're tapping our foot back while reaching up overhead. Nice and gentle. I'm holding the stretch for, what, like two, three seconds max. I'm not trying to hang on to it for a long time. There's a time and a place for static stretching and immediately following a cardio workout for me personally is not that time. Holding my body in one rigid position actually makes me feel super dizzy. So, so I don't advocate that. If it doesn't bother you, you're certainly welcome to. I tend to do dynamic stretching to cool down where I'm still moving my body. Ah, nice and gently though, bringing my heart rate down and stretching in a way that is gonna help my muscles go back to the position that they are meant to be in. When we're doing cardio, when we're doing strength, when we're doing any kind of exercise, your muscles get all bunched up and that's good. That's how they get stronger, that's good for you. But then we need to remind them that it's totally okay to come back to their normal position. 
My friends, if your heart rate has come down enough, go ahead and spread your feet wide. Put your hands on your knees and we're gonna push our hips back and then just push them to the side, one side and then the other. Keep your head above your heart, even if your heart rate has come down very nicely, keep your head above your heart. This is much more about lower body stretching than about like trying to put your hands on the ground or anything like that. Again, that kind of flexibility and stretching, totally great, totally has a place in your workout routine, but not necessarily immediately following a cardio workout. My friends, what a wonderful, wonderful job you did today. I wanna to make sure that I say a really big thank you to my friend, Christina, who sponsored this workout. She made me a really generous monthly pledge over on Patreon. There's gonna be a little symbol here on screen here in just a couple of seconds that it will give you the opportunity to go over there and check it out. But let me just tell you that a monthly pledge like Christina's helps me make free workouts for all of us. And I totally appreciate that support. Also on screen, you're gonna see like a longer stretching video if you'd like to like take more of a cool down and do a little bit more static stretching. There is also a picture of my face and that is a subscribe button, my friends. Make sure you click that before you go and I'll see you in the next video.